This is so cool. Time to head into Badlands of Nebraska. So in my research, the two things that I was warned of that you need to really keep your eye out for out here are the rattlesnakes and the big cats. I'm telling you, this place is otherworldly. I can't think of much to compare it to. Maybe Badlands in South Dakota, Teddy Roosevelt, North Dakota, but it's definitely one of a kind. So is this the Great Plains or what? You got ranching, you got grasslands, and you got the Badlands. Woo! Man, it is coming down. I got the car just in time. I can barely see the road. I'm gonna get off this thing before it floods. Welcome to Custer State Park in South Dakota. I didn't intend it to happen this way, but I'm in a sense stuck in the middle of the herd. I was just following behind them and then they just encircled me. I've never had something like this happen to me in the past. This is, uh, this is a once in a lifetime thrill. I'm just keeping my distance and allowing these guys to take their own sweet time to get down the road. They don't appear aggressive, I know they can be, but uh, they don't really seem to mind me at all. So behind me is Black Elk Peak. That is 7,242 feet tall, highest point in South Dakota. And I also was told the highest point in the Eastern half of the United States before the Rockies. If you continue on this trail, that would be your next destination. From the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota, I'd like to welcome you to Mount Rushmore. National Memorial. And for this video, what I thought I'd do is give you the ultimate one day itinerary for seeing everything you want to see at Mount Rushmore. So from the observation point, we are now going to the Presidential Loop Trail. This will take us as close as we can to the base of the monument. Uh, this is a really cool stop right here. This is the tunnel that leads to a special view of Lincoln and Washington. but there definitely is something up there. And I called the park offices out Mount Rushmore and basically begged with them to get a private guided tour from a park ranger up to the top of the monument. I knew it was a long shot, but it couldn't hurt to ask. So with all that said, I thought, what would be a good substitute? And on the internet, I found this hike going to the top of Mount Baldy. And the thing that's neat about Mount Baldy is when you get to the top and you look toward Mount Rushmore, you are looking to the back of the monument. We have made it to the top and somewhere out there, I'm supposed to be looking at the back of Mount Rushmore. I don't know which mountain, but check out this pano. Well, as you can tell, we are officially back for the evening program. It's seven o'clock right now. Show starts at eight o'clock. What an incredible show tonight. Just a tremendous celebration of our amazing country. You know, you come to the evening program here at Mount Rushmore, and I tell you, it's almost as good as seeing the monument itself. I am so thankful to be an American, not just because what I saw tonight, but because of what I've experienced for all of my entire life living in this great country. And we are in South Dakota, 
when you walk into the Black Hills National Forest. Our third stop here today is a place known as the Devil's Bathtub. This one is marked on the road, and also it has a pretty amazing landmark right next to it. Would you check out that mining building? So it would be pretty cool to explore that place, but it's all fenced off. Anyway, back to Devil's Bathtub. This is like kind of the local swimming hole. I'm saying a little more than a mile, but it's slow moving with all these river crossings and tight crevices that you need to squeeze between. It's fascinating to get to meet different people from different geographical regions in the United States, even some people coming in from international locations. So I'm soaking wet right now and that sun is going down and it's starting to get pretty chilly out here. I'm gonna make a beeline back to the car. We're gonna talk about quiet and peaceful out here. I wish I could show you these stars. Welcome to Badlands National Park. Today we find ourselves on the Castle Trail. This is one of the most popular trails here at the park. It's an out and back trail, 10 miles total. All trails I think puts it at 11 miles. It is the middle of September 2021. Sunrise was at 6.30, we started the trail at 8 o'clock, woke up, temperature 42 degrees. Super windy last night. We're gonna stay on the Castle Trail, that'll take us to the very end. If you want, you can take the Saddle Pass. That's a uh, short distance, very steep down, that'll take you right back to the Badlands Loop Road. And then coming home, we'll take the Medicine Route Trip. So as you can tell, we have made it to the Badlands Loop Road. That means we are halfway done with the trail. We're gonna take a break here, grab a bite to eat, and then retrace our steps. Rancher told me that if you really boogie on this trail, you could do it in about four hours, average person, five hours. Of course, you can go out to the back country and there's some undeveloped trails out there, but as far as developed trails go, long developed trails, this is basically your only option. And I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. 